Bulldog uniform and then two newcomers. Here's the toss and the tip, and we are underway as Georgia wins the toss. They immediately get it Whoa. to the window and a drive oh. to the basket and a blocking foul under the hoop, and a basket is good for Cario. Bobcats basketball, they lead it 3-2 to two here. We're almost two minutes in here to this exhibition contest tonight. Steal oh. by Hill as the Bobcats were trying to get it into the corner. Hill's going to take it, drive all the way to the hoop, and lay it up off the glass. 5'11", well. redshirt junior guard from Evans, dribbles with the left hand to the left side of the floor. Feed it to Sloan for a three. He rattles that one home. Had a good year last year, 21-8. and eight. Made the NCAA tournament in Division II. Chisholm with the ball, drives against Oquindo, curls towards the basket. The runner high off the glass. He kisses in good for Chisholm. All right. 8 4. Georgia College very patient into the shot clock on that possession. Here's Hill with the basketball for the Dogs. Drives inside the arc at the foul line. Floater good with the right hand. Justin Hill with his second basket, and it's 8 6. Crawford walks it into the front court and hands it off on the wing to Chisholm. 6-4 guard from Dawsonville, Georgia. That's Road Dog's neck of the woods. Do you know him? Throws it in the corner. Pass is picked off by the Dogs as Moncrief with the steal. Going to drive all the way down into the paint. Lay it up right at the rim. Good little finger roll by yeah. M.A. Moncrief. so the dogs will get the basketball. Every player on the GC roster is from Georgia. Monte, oh, a nasty driving hammer. That's right down the lane for the one-handed dunk by M.A. Monte. Well, you know, he is a genuine rim protector. A true I mean, he's going to block shots and rebound, and, and that's something that, that Georgia has missed for a while. Probably since uh, Nick Paxton as McBride hits a three just to the left of the circle. McBride and a three for the Bulldogs. First of the game gives Georgia a 13 to 10 lead. 13 25 on the clock. First half in this exhibition contest. Georgia College basketball. Drive from the left side. The dribbler falls down. Gets the pass into the right corner. Green knocks down a three for the visiting team. Passing wide open shot that uh, Georgia couldn't get there quickly enough and then knocked it down. Tied at 13. Mike White in front of us, observing his group here in the first half. Moncrief with a dribble drive through the lane. Sweeping hook shot from the left side won't go, but he got fouled. Contact drawn. And, See that easy. and correction on Holt. That's his second foul, so he comes out of the ballgame. Georgia College underneath, try to reverse layup. Wouldn't go as Koneman missed it. Went straight up and down, no iron. Dogs rebound quickly. Abdul Rahim for a three in the right corner. Well, he hadn't forgotten what he can do. He breaks the Jens bound inbounds in front of the basket. Dribbling out front is Chisholm. Chisholm works against Lindsay for Georgia. Bobcats basketball. They feed it into the post. The big guy, Koneman, works against Etter. Turns and shoots, uses the glass, hits the corner of the square, and banks it in. Ball. They play the dogs in a man-to-man -man defense. Here's Austin Sloan, the sophomore drives, feeds it back above the three-point line. Now to Luke Chisholm, he drives to the basket. Underneath, he got pinned in deep. Boy, tried Justin. to jump pass into the corner. Yeah. It was stolen by him. I have a feeling our shooting percentage will be coming down from that last break when you made my heart feel Your good. heart won't be quite as warm. You warmed it up. Now it's getting a little bit cold again. It's getting chilly in here. Georgia College with the basketball. Chisholm drives, kicks it out for a three, and I believe that was Crawford for the three. I got screened out, but I think Richard Crawford. It was. That's exactly who it was for Georgia College. Well, we're not keeping your heart warm because we're now 0 for our last seven. Ouch. That's tough to come by right now. Long two, a mid-range two by Richard Crawford. A shot fake. Pop right in there to give Georgia College the lead, 22 to 20. 6-13 remaining in the opening half. Dogs ball, Moncrief dribbles inside. Lost the handle for a second, but then Lindsey slides along the left baseline. We had another guard a couple of years ago from Houston, Texas, didn't we? Out of the left corner, McBride. 
dribbles it once, feeds Hill top of the key. Fakes left, drives right, works right of the paint, hesitates. Now shoots, oh windmills it up and in. Oh, the circus, Scott. He was determined. Yeah, put he it made up. about eight different moves there on his drive to the 422. Georgia by two as we hit the five minute mark. This exhibition contest. There's a steal inside by Lindsay. They were going under the basket. Brian with the ball, right wing, top of the key to Hill. Swing it left side to Oquindo. Dribbles it inside the arc and then feeds Hill, who will back it up between the circles. Hill lobs. Oquindo open three, missed it far side of the rim. Oh, good good rebound and a putback and a moderate dunk by M.A. Moncrief. Georgia with the ball, a long lob pass cross court from Oquindo to Mardrez McBride. From Augusta, Georgia, Butler High School. Left handed pass to Cario. Oquindo, right hand. Oh, oh the there we go. Right handed champ. That's the first one of the season. Green, the dogs are in white tonight. 320 to go, first half. Eight on the shot clock for the Bobcats. Turn around three, top of the key. Short. They get the tip on the rebound, though, and get another crack at it. Clock resets to 20. They don't use it all. Fire another three by Sloan from the right side. That's no good. Rebound inside by Coleman and a short little jumper. He pops the coaching staff yelling three, two. Two-point lead for the Dogs, Bobcats basketball. Anselm all over the ball handler, and that's Big Koneman trying to muscle him up a little bit. Bobcats going to drive, missed the running layup against the double team, missed the tap-in and the follow, and Georgia gets the rebound on the second miss, Moncrief. Moncrief with the basketball after the feed from Hill, spins through the paint, layup from the left side won't go, but a foul on the play. Well, Moncrief's got some moves, doesn't he? I mean, that's the only feed 26. Richard Crawford leans into his dribble, gives it up left side of the floor. They go into the corner now, drive along the baseline by Chisholm, who's cut off by a header. The ball back up the perimeter. Now seven on the shot clock. Richard Crawford in trouble. Drives around Anselm, lost the handle of the basketball. Bounces out of bounds right on the baseline. Terrific defense by Jokov up the near sideline now. And Brandon Thomas going to drive on the block, kick out for a three. Koneman shot is a brick, no good. Rebound long, tapped out. Wrestle for it. Oh, oh. Moncrief slides and gets it up ahead. He passes to a window off his backside, and then Carrio's drive to the basket is basketball. Now underneath is Brandon Thomas. A couple of jumps, got it knocked out of his hands once, got it right back, and missed the layup the second time. Dogs attack on the right end of the floor. Header feeds Braylon Bridges on the right block. Dribbles into the paint. There's the left hand jump hook that we know Braylon yeah. really gets in the scorebook. His first points of the night. As we said, he had two fouls in the free bounds for the Bulldogs. And it was a Bulldog team that won only six games last year. Six and 26. And went one and 17 in the SEC. Three-pointer by Crawford for GC is no good. Rebound to the Dogs. Sure, that was an emphasis at the half. Get on that glass. Who's Oquindo attacking with contact? Look at that. Missed the runner. Bridges fights for the rebound and fights to put it back up. It rolls short yeah. of the rim and comes down. And a foul on the play by Georgia College. Scott, if that emphasis was on rebound. Right to left into the front court with a left hand dribble for Georgia College. Hand off on the left wing to Sloan. Or oh, that's Chisholm, excuse me. Go back to Crawford. Crawford inches his way, left edge of the paint. Hangs in the air as he jump catch at the elbow back out to Edder. Edder skips it over to Hill. He attacks from the right slot into the paint, shows the ball, kicks it out to Oquindo for a three. Go! Yeah. Cario buries a three. He's in double figures with 10. That's now one for six in the game. And the lead is 40 to 29. Georgia's largest of the contest. Christian Koneman down the lane. The runner with a right hand right at the rim and lays it up good. Hill into the front court on a slow trot. Dribbles on the logo. Now goes into action. Behind a screen from Moncrief. Screen and roll. They give it to Bridges. He gives it to Moncrief. Oh, oh it dipped in and out. But a foul on the play. Moncrief laid it up, and that ball went high on the right side. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it will be a good, a good game, I would think. I would hope, anyway. Chapin Ryerson with a throw and off. Rebound taken by Georgia College. After that three, Ryerson took an imaginary arrow out of the imaginary quiver on the back of his back and pulled it out and shot it into the ocean. 
A baseline two for the Bobcats. 41-36. They're making a little push. Now. Yeah, you, you knock down a three and a two that quickly. Got into a lead. Oquindo got in no man's land there. Finds Holt, who comes to the ball to help him out. All over to Cario. Slow pass down the wing into the corner. Mardrez McBride for three. A soft for Ryan Aquino in his first year as the Georgia College head coach. 44-36 is the score. Dogs with the lead. Crawford with the drive. Missed the running layup. The tap-in is good, however, by Koneman from the right side of the rim. for a quick three on the other side. He runs it up the sideline into the front court. Backdoor feed to Ian Davis. And oh, you'll see Conan, game. yeah, a little give and go there. And right to the basket, he slashes in and lays it up. You know what? You know what did it tonight is Jackson. Well, he will not have a point. Chisholm drives, sweeping left hand away and won't go, but he's packed up and in by Big Parks. Crawford, a redshirt junior from Evans, Georgia. Handles the ball into the front court he goes for Georgia College. Hand off on the wing to Chisholm. He'll dribble straight on and reverse it to Ryerson, who throws a wild hook shot as he's going out of bounds. 49-47. Georgia College has almost come all the way back from an 11-point hole in this half. Hill with a spin move inside. Dishes it left to Lindsey. Lindsey flies in from the... 8-26, now less than that remaining in this exhibition contest. Brandon Thomas misses a three, dies on the rim left side for GC. Dogs with the rebound. Hill sprints down the middle of the floor, down into the lane. The block. And that's what they did. Georgia College inbounds to uh, Ryerson in the left corner. Fadeaway three, hits the side of the rim. And Hill snatches the rebound. Diagonal pass on the run to Cario from the left side. This time he lays it up, spins off the window. Betting beautiful. 53-47. Georgia leads by six with less than six and a half to play. Koneman, one-handed pass, intercepted by Lindsay at the right elbow for Georgia. That's about the only mistake away. that young man's made tonight. Not many, you're right. A window for three straight on is good. A window with 15 points now. To Take the scoring lead about it. All right, here we go. Georgia College basketball. 554, clock moves. Koneman above the left elbow, pushed out by Lindsay for Georgia. Goes to Sloan, holds it high. He's guarded by Hill, giving up a little size there. To Koneman, right baseline. He's matched up with Edder. That was a mismatch there, size wise. Session lead here with 505 to go in this exhibition contest. The 511, Richard Crawford dribbles with a left hand on the far side of the floor. Overhead pass to the middle of the floor, almost threw it away. Retrieved by Chisholm on the logo right at the half court line. They've got four seconds on the shot clock. Crawford stepped back three, tried to draw contact as he heaves a desperation shot. That's no good, and he got the call. Based on his reaction, 58-50. Ryerson in the front court for Georgia College. They're in green, dogs in white tonight. Final minutes of this exhibition contest as we approach the four-minute mark in the game. Little Crawford dribbles it low between the legs, back and forth, back and forth. Goes to Koneman. He runs into Lindsay, loses the handle in the ball. Dogs pick it up. Moncrief drives, and they call a charge on M.A. Well, that was an easy call. That was... to go. We feed it into Lindsay on the left block. He turns. Got it to go. Leans with the arm and lays it up and in. Good. He's <laughs> with the ball. Justin Hill slowly dribbles. Now between the circles. Picks up the tempo a little bit. Feeds Edu. Flashes out above the arc. Full oh. three. Missed it off the front of the rim. Rebound right back to Hill on the left side. Throw an alley-oop to Lindsay all alone. Catches it right side of the rim. By Richard Crawford. Now gets away from him, moves to the right wing, lobs it to Moncrief, feed it inside to Lindsay, leans in and scores on a lay-in. That was nice. 
brother is a walk-on at Florida and played for Mike White there. And Newell lived in Athens from the time he was six years old till 12 years old. And his grandmother was working at the University of Georgia. How about that? And he's, got a, he's got a great last name. <laughs> Hill down the lane. The seas parted and the right to give it to you. I've got it right here. Five seconds to go, three seconds to go. Here's a three-pointer at the end of the game by Georgia College. And that will be no good, Jamal Taylor.